isn't that crazy? This is ta da! So excited to try this kombucha. Hey, what's up? Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 2. Um, right now it is 8 30 in the morning. I just woke up put my hair in a little tiny ponytail And I wanted to do a little bit of stretching before I work out so That's why I have core power I'm gonna do a little cleanup before I get started and then we're gonna go ahead do a little bit of yoga literally so so sore from yesterday's workout like it's insane I haven't been this sore from a workout in a really long time we hiked nine miles, so if you didn't watch that video, go ahead and watch that. 10 out of 10 recommend trying to do it. It takes a really long time. I didn't account for how long it would actually take us to hike for that long, but then it was a really good um, workout. everyone it is it's around 10 30 right now i'm gonna drive over to pick up my last paycheck um drop some things off and then i am gonna go pick up something from the cafeteria because they did give me that thing seven dollar cafe bucks so i'm gonna go spend that too i hope it's not like super awkward because I don't know I'm just like such an awkward person like when I even want to like give thanks to my boss I just want to give her like this note and then like a little gift card just to say thanks for like giving me this job because obviously I wouldn't be where I am with my nursing career if I hadn't gotten this first job so I want to like pay homage to like where I began but anyway I'm gonna go over it's so weird that um, I need to change where I work on my phone but that's okay. For now, I am gonna go pick up my last paycheck, say bye to everyone, and pick up something from the cafe. I used to drink these all the time in UCR, and I just wanted to try this kombucha. I'm here at the uh, emergency. At the cafeteria. I got my last paycheck. I'm excited. My manager just told me to. I guess I was like panicking over nothing. I like really didn't um, have any questions or anything. So that was a little bit weird. But basically, I picked up all the paychecks that I had. I'm going to go ahead and just go to Chase. Secure the goods. It's currently clear in 70 degrees. I don't know. I definitely want to take this off, though. Now, I really want to do a little bit of walking. Um, this is really bad um, lighting. I don't know if this lighting is any better. Probably isn't. But we're just going to sit and we're going to deal with it. I did pick up my last paycheck today. That was my very last time probably ever going to that hospital unless there's something I do need to pick up later. Um, I lived about 25 minutes away, 28 on a bad day, and then 20 when I would get off at 2.30 in the morning. So wasn't too crazy of a drive, but it's so crazy um, because I started as a student there in August. Um, and I was actually in the ICU and I thought I really wanted to do ICU, but it was just too depressing for me um, So I ended up doing ER later on as a new grad RN So it's pretty crazy the journey that I've been on and I want to like I wonder if I can find clips so that I could like flash back on when I used to be a student there and all that and I know you guys have seen my journey as a new grad there and everything that I had went through and everything that I've grown from this hospital so I'm like always thankful even though it's 
it was a really difficult job to work. Um, I think just being a nurse in general it can be a very daunting and difficult job. It's very taxing. It can be really, really hard sometimes. And I think regardless of where you start, going from school to becoming an actual RN, it's a lot different. You face a lot of different things. And I was just glad to have um, a fairly supportive team that helped me get through my new grad transition and I'm so thankful to be able to even how many people can say that they started as a new grad ER nurse so I'm so so thankful for everything that this hospital has given me and regardless of all the things like I know you guys have literally seen I know last year if you really want to see what I went through um, watch vlogmas 2019 that's where you're gonna find everything I went through as a new grad and everything that I was feeling and it's really difficult, but I am so thankful for everything that I've learned here and I'm so, so happy to be continuing my RN journey. And I'll talk a little bit more about what I'm gonna be doing after this um, as Vlogmas goes on. But I hope you guys will continue to follow my journey and I'm so, so happy that there's so many more people who have become more um, engaged and active. I'm, I'm like always so happy to talk to you guys about everything and it's really nice that there's so many people who message me. Um, I know that there, there was someone who messaged me pretty recently. Oh, my director messaged me because I gave him like something before I go. Because obviously you always have to pay homage to the people who got you to where you are. And she was on my panel when I first interviewed. So I wanted to thank her so much for everything. And it was really sweet that she um, texted me. I know that they're really busy right now because I walked in and I don't think anyone really wanted to talk to me. But yeah i don't know if you heard me earlier but i got these little um drinks there i'm so excited to try this kombucha i love this brand of kombucha it's so so good i've tried like three different flavors when we were on the trip to sf and then these these are so freaking nostalgic of ucr because i used to always get these from I would use like my bear bucks to buy these and I love these so much just because, not because they taste really good, but because it reminds me of um, my first year of college. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go walk around, maybe go on a little tiny jog, but yeah, that's gonna be it. So anyway, I'm gonna go walk around a little bit, deposit my checks and yeah, that's, that's it. Oh my God, that is, I don't know, it's so like bittersweet. Anyway, I'm gonna go walk around, do my thing. I'll see you guys after my walk. One mile, oh my gosh. That was a good little run. A lot of people who work out here. So for example, you can see this lady's about to work out. That lady's running. I'm gonna go drop off my checks and head home. Chair tip, so before I forget, if you have PTO, I 10 out of 10 recommend using it because if you don't use it, what ends up happening is you end up getting a cash out if you leave your facility. If you ever cash it out, they literally slice the amount of money you're supposed to be getting in half. I'm gonna go to Chase first because stop whatever you're doing and listen to Monaco by Audion on Spotify. It's like my favorite song at the moment and I played it like my whole run. So I'm gonna go deposit these. I really wanna go to the 99 cent store because it's next door and I'm gonna go ahead and get some wrapping paper um, because some of my guests actually need wrapping. A little bit of a haul, not really. I got this really cute um, cardboard looking tree wrapping paper that I'm gonna use to wrap some gifts. Tree that was not 99 cents is actually freaking $8 but my mom wanted it for her office. So it's pretty cute, I don't hate it. So my package came in and I already tore it open because why not? But all of us are wearing these. The small one is for Cheska. And then this one is gonna be Alex's. This is the 2XL because he's way bigger than all of us. Super thin, like super thin. It's a really cute color though, I really like the color. Now, it's like really cute probably when you put it on. I'll put it on right now just so that you can actually see what it looks. <laughs> I look like a baby. <laughs> oh gosh. But it's like
comfy. Um, I don't think it'll keep me that warm, to be quite honest with you. So I think I'm gonna bring that blanket over there because I know I'm gonna get cold. I'm freezing. I like light this candle every day. It's gonna be a pretty fun week. It's not anything too crazy. And then Wednesday I'm getting my lashes done, so I'm super excited for that. Um I'm getting them done at 11 a.m. Thursday, I have um, my training for Red Cross, but it's over the phone, which is nice. When I have a friends miss with my friends, and we're doing a white elephant, and we're also doing it's called Secret Santa. <laughs> I have so many days that I'm doing nothing, which I'm not like mad about because this is the like first vacation I've had in a long time. I also am going to another drive-in rave on Saturday, which I'm super excited about. And before anyone says anything. It's negative. Um, and I remember when I first, I've done like so many COVID tests um, just to make sure that I am like keeping safe and you know, like I live with seven people. So, I don't know, it's kind of hard because the biggest thing is um, keeping other people safe. I always get tested because in case I'm ever asymptomatic, I'd rather people know that if I have COVID. My cousins and my aunts have it, so it's something that you have to Realize that it's like right in your backyard. You can't be afraid of it. You just have to keep living your life, being safe, wash your hands, sanitize, wear a mask, and try to stay six feet of strangers and keep your parties in like a small, small group. I'm here to pick up other shoes. So, are you back? Oh, you're back so early from your clinical? Lip class today. That's pretty cute. I like how that looks. So we are having, wait, hold on. Let me pause this. Pause. I'm going to show you my white elephant gift. My secret Santa gift is literally just whatever my person had put on their Amazon wish list. I think it'd be more fun, especially because white elephant, you're supposed to be trading. Um, I'm going to put it in this Amazon box. And then it's going to be this wine bottle. I think that fits way better. And then this sleep mask. It's just a bunch of random, like, and then this is a burrito blanket. I thought this was, like, the funniest thing ever. Um, but I was talking to my friends about it, and they were like, oh, it's supposed to be, like, helpful stuff. And I was like, oh. Well, I chose something funny. This is gonna be my secret Santa gift. And then, not this one, but the one below it is gonna be, this ribbon looks really crappy. But this is gonna be my white elephant gift. Much, much, much later. Hi, babe. Okay. It's Vlogmas. Vlogmas. You have gifts for me? That's my gift. Your outfit. <laughs> Let's see if it fits. Oh yeah, okay. mine is really, really <laughs> snug. So I warned Cheska, I was like, oh, I check if it fits because mine is like really, like I wore leggings under it, but still it was like pretty, like, That's snug. why I picked the largest size, because yeah. like, it doesn't sound like it's gonna fit. I don't know if Stanley's gonna fit. It's fine. Because he has the same, it's gonna be really snug on him. He's... He shouldn't have chosen medium. Well, <gasps> Oh, they changed the, um... The art. The art on it. <sighs> Babe. Sunrise yoga. Oh my god, I miss yoga. Try it. You can try it with me. Sure. Here. Dude, your oh, hands yes. look. Your hands are like never dry, but it's dry. Let's smell it. Mmm, it smells like yoga. <sighs> Does smell like yoga? <laughs> We're both wearing our um, Merch. brave tees or not tees sweaters. How we? Where should we put it? Put it in the back. When we get to the place, uh -huh. or whenever we get back, try that. Okay. Because I want to make sure it fits in case we need to. Where are we at, babe? Sub noodle bar. Alex recommended this place. I just saw it on YouTube. And I got the brisket pho wow. with a bunch of onions, and I'm gonna douse in these. Wow. And then Alex is gonna get his eventually. Oh, oh there it is. Yeah. Oh, look, your bow. That's so cute. Oh my. 
God. Yeah. She thick or whatever. Try it. How's their pho broth? Good? Ooh, I'm going to try it. My buzz so red compared to Alex's. Also, this place is all you can eat noodles. Unlimited? I don't know. Alex found a place. It's called Sup Noodles. And he, he has like. This is my third. Their bowl of noodles. Jesus. He got one <coughs> for me. But I'm so full after one. I never finished my pho bowl. I think that's I how think they make money off people usually, like me. I usually eat the extra large. Oh, because it's just so like a regular size. This was just size. a regular size, so I usually. Yeah, what'd you get though? What is this? I got the bone, the rib bone. Mm. Uh, it's mayonnaise and instrument. So, I got some kimchi, some gochujang. I got some snacks. It's just the stuff you can't get at the normal supermarket. Isn't this cool? I'm watching this old drive in vlog because I'm excited. Okay, Alex is gonna try his on. Let me see. No, I can't set up straight. <laughs> Why? Just pull it up a little bit. I can't. Why? I have. A... Uh, uh, 